Are you tired of the same old pro wrestling? Then check out the amazing action on Powerslam.tv, the biggest indie pro wrestling channel in the world. Get over 4,000 hours of the best pro wrestling events from over 110 of the biggest names in the industry from over 15 countries around the globe. Get your free trial today at Powerslam.tv. TheChairShot.com. Always use your head. The following is brought to you by the Social Suplex Podcast Network. Warning. The Outsider's Edge contains strong opinions, unconventional views, and contrarian stances. Listen, if you dare. Hey, yo. I know this doesn't sound like me, but this is your boy Rance, aka Ray Cash, and I'm with another edition of The Outsider's Edge. Before we even get started, let me apologize. I got the crud, so my voice ain't right, but you know, we're going to get through this together. But since I am not 100%, I had to go and find both of my brothers. The whole crew is here, the family's back together. Carl and Kyle are both here today. Gentlemen, it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you. So, I mean, yeah, you know better than to leave us unsupervised. We get up in Japan again. We brought in the New Japan crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, don't worry. I'm here to make sure that all the trolling stops. Don't worry. All that's going to stop right now. This is going to be a wholesome show. We're not going to trash anybody or talk any shit about any roster memory that I may or may not love. So, yeah, it's nice to be here. So what, so you're, what saying you're saying is we're canceling, we're canceling the show, the show because, because, like, I'm pretty I'm sure, sure that, that the only, only reason, reason we do this is to throw shade on any and every roster yeah, member. Pretty much, yeah. Especially, especially the fans. fans. Yeah, well, yeah, I have, you know, always have beef with the fans. fans. That's nothing new. So. You know what I love about you guys? I love that you guys have taken my crusade and you have run with it. <laughs> here's the thing. Thank I don't you. even have to. We don't, I don't, here's the thing. Okay. okay, I don't even I have to believe in your crusade, crusade to just be, just be on your be side. side. It's kind of like, like, you know, if you're with a group of friends, friends and you can all talk, talk shit to each other, the second, the second someone from the outside, the outside comes in and starts talking shit, it's like, whoa, 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 uh uh-uh. that ain't happening. Only I can talk shit to this guy. That's kind of how this goes, you know, we're just picking up. It's like I said to y'all earlier today, the family that shades together stays together. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, that's a beautiful, uh... And it's, it's a t-shirt. That's, it's a t-shirt. That's, that's a t-shirt. Speaking of t-shirts, mm. let's get the plugs out of the way now. Social Suplex has a brand new uh, Pro Wrestling Tee uh, dot com store. On top of that, Chair Shot, of course, has a has already has a um, Pro Wrestling Tees dot com uh, store, and we got some new designs coming on there. One of the designs is, um, and I love this statement that me and Platt came up with. Jesus did the job. And his and his dad ran the territory. Shirts are coming. Shirts are coming. I like uh, that. Yeah, I'm thick about it, right? right. If, if Jesus right. can do the job, you can do the job. Um, but yeah. I don't know, man. Everybody, Everybody doesn't, doesn't want to do business. business. Sometimes, Sometimes people, people decide, decide that they would, they would rather, rather, you know, you know do, business do business elsewhere. elsewhere. Journalism. Stop. I love you, journalism. Journalisming me right now. Um. So we're gonna try to we're gonna start with some um, really current news. So today, two separate reports have come out. One from Sean Ross Sapp and Fightful. Actually, both of them probably are from him, but the other one I saw from Ryan Satin, the Pro Wrestling Sheet. But earlier today, it was um, reported that the revival might be turning in their resignations. Um, the WWE is concerned about it. Other sites took that and ran with it, saying that they did. Re- requested releases, but I don't think they have it yet, but there is the concern that they are. Well, just a few just just a little bit just a little bit ago, apparently Mike and Maria Canellis have requested their releases. Who? I I figured you would say that. Just yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 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 part of the course for you, sir. 
Um, and you're not wrong because they haven't done much. Um, <clears throat> so this is the timing is interesting, of course, for number one AEW, right? That's this, this will be the time I'd imagine that people who have a chance to go want to send fillers out to see what's going on with the company, where it's possibly going, where they could stand in the company, as that and the other. But secondly, it's interesting to me because both guys are getting renewed pushes. So, like, the Revival are front and center every week. They're the only tag team that's consistently getting time other than the tag champs. And they're the ones the story's about. And Mike and Maria, if you don't know their story since they've joined WWE, um, they when they signed, Mike had a very, very serious addiction. He went to rehab, got clean. That nobody, nobody knew about. Knew about. Nobody, nobody knew about. Even Maria didn't, didn't know about. about. Yes. He'd been living with it for however long he had been through Ring of Honor, Impact, all the other companies. And yeah, so he got he got clean and sober and in the best shape of his life. Then him and Maria had a kid right as they, they were starting their push. So I'm not saying that that's negative or positive or anything. It's just factual information. And just recently, Mike and Maria got moved to 205 Live where they were featured fairly prominently for a few months. So the timing of this just feels weird. Gentlemen, what y'all think? Uh, you care if I jump in first time? I, never I haven't been on the show in a while. I just want to make sure. All right, well, All right, let me just do this. Then. So let's talk, touch on the revival first. You're right. They've got a sustain. Like they've recently kind of got a little bit of a push in it. It kind of feels like they're always building up to something with them. You know, it feels that way. And I think, and I think the, the problem, problem is, is, and we talk about talk this about a lot, lot. We're, we're, as Daniel, as Daniel Bryan might say, we're, we're fickle, fickle, but at the but same at the time, time, we're waiting for something to happen, happen quickly, quickly, you know? You know? So, so I think, I think with the revival, every time it seems like they're knocking on the door, it seems like they're going to do something, and it doesn't quite happen, it frustrates people more and more, and you point to the stuff with the Lucha House Party or whatever, you know? But, so I think that is kind of... With the revival, revival, I don't know, I don't know their, their thoughts, thoughts on it. We don't even, we don't even know if this is actually true, true or not. Um, but it makes but it me makes kind of wonder, wonder if you're the w, from the WWE, WWE side. The only part I don't really buy about this is the WWE, WWE is concerned. Is I really I don't believe that. that. And the reason, and the reason why, why I say that is because, because one, WWE, WWE really, really doesn't make that much of an, of an effort. effort. To really showcase tag team wrestling, on SmackDown they do, but Raw has been a wasteland. It doesn't see money in. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a wasteland. Tag teams, tag teams as an opportunity to build future singles guys. Right. right, and so and the revival, as great as they are, and don't run around, they're a great tag team. But, and I hate to be the one to say this, but at the end of the day, you know, this is a business about drawing money, right? Are they? Are they draws? Are they, they going to bring in? Are they putting all the belts in the seats? I really don't think so. I think it's just a, they're more of a niche group that people love because they're kind of that old school style, you know. And they're really great tag team, you know. The chemistry is perfect, of course. But I think I don't think WWE is actually concerned because if they were actually concerned, you would think that they would have made it more of a concentrated effort to really showcase them. And they really, you know, it's just kind of been how it is on Raw, the tag team division, just a clusterfuck. So, so it's nothing new. I mean, I don't honestly. I, I, don't, I don't. You guys know I don't watch Raw that much. But I don't. I, don't, I think are Rude and Gable still tag champs? I don't even know. Yes. So I mean, yeah, they are. The story. The story is that every week the revival lose to Rude and Gable by some nefarious means. One week they one week they pin the wrong guy who wasn't legal. The next week, um, Dawson's leg was on the ropes when and the ref pinned three. But right, under, right. Just the same ref saw somebody else's leg on the ropes that night and pulled it off. So they're running with the conspiracy theory that the Revival are better, but they just can't beat Gable and Jordan. But Gable, right, right. Gable, Gable and Rude, yeah. So this so kind of has, you know what it has a feel of a little, little bit is the Neville, Neville situation. situation. Right? The right, only right, difference is Neville is actually the champ. It's about to be, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, because, because if you think about it, about like, like the thing with Neville was he got tired of, supposedly, he got tired of losing the Enzo, right? He didn't want to lose Enzo. He wanted to beat people that he was better than. He, at least he didn't want to continue to go through with that. It's, it's what you hear. You know what I mean? It's, I think that's maybe what you're getting here a little bit. I think it, but I think it's more of the, the, the only part of the revival requesting a release that would make sense to me is 
what you were talking about before about WWE doesn't generally prioritize tag team wrestling, and Dash and Dawson are both very vocal on record about give tag team wrestling a chance, tag team wrestling can draw money, blah, blah, blah. It would absolutely make sense to me if they got tired of the thought of no matter how good we may or may not be, even if we get pushed, we'll never be more than like a side show. Right. right. I mean, I get, yeah, I, I get that. I think I should see them wanting the opportunity to prove that they're more than a sideshow, but at the same time, like, they make a fuck ton of money and they get featured on TV every week. How many teams can say that? Well, let's think about this for a second, so like, okay, the reason, I think part of the reason why Vince and others don't see the money in tag team wrestling is because they know they can literally throw random people together and make tag teams, and people love it. The bar, perfect example. And right now, what's what's that? New Age Outlaws. Right, new, right. I mean, just random. I mean, right, right now, with, now, I mean, we don't we know, know, but Miz and Shane. I mean, Shane is. People still love Shane, and the Miz. Miz you know, he's the Miz. Miz. He's a, he's a draw. So like, they don't have to outside of the New Day, which obviously push merch and money and that kind of thing. And the Usos. What are we really talking about on the main roster in terms of someone that you look at and say, "Oh, this team that has always been a team," and even the New Day wasn't always a team. But you get what I'm coming from here, like, yeah, it's. Are they really going to move the needle? And I'm not, this is no disrespect for Revival because if I had to pick a tag team, I would think it's probably outside of the Usos. I think they're probably my favorite team to actually watch in a tag team match. But, I mean, I just don't, if you're WWE, I don't think you're concerned about this. So that part of it, and I'm not saying this is false, they might be totally concerned. But that part of it, of the report, eh, I mean, I don't know if I'm buying it. I mean, I don't know if I buy any reports anymore because how many of them are fake? Yeah, sure. Or proven false or, like, the company intentionally misleading you. Right, right. Or misconstrued. You know, the the dirt sheets have become the new kayfabe. Definitely. Definitely. I I want to point out one thing, and you you kind of you kind of went towards it, Carl, that talking about Neville, and I'm not going to talk about why he sat and won his release but because there's numerous reasons why but the the interesting thing to me is he had to sit for a year and a half yeah yeah because they knew when he left he would go to new japan and go over there and try to be a big draw or whatever much like now him going to aw and all, all almost automatically being put in the world title picture right sure well I, this is the dumbest time as a wrestler to request your release because you, everybody in the building knows if you're trying to quit now, you're going to Jacksonville. Right. That's right. stupid. So why would you choose now? Get the mania paycheck and then go after that. Why would this be the time you want to do it? Yeah, because yeah, especially with AEW's first show, first show, show not coming back, back or their second, second show, 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 you know, you know what I mean, in May. Yeah. You got well, two gosh, months or a month or so in between there. Well, not to well, mention, Vince notoriously petty. If, if this part of WWE, WWE is concerned, concerned is even remotely true, true, not, not only, only will, they will they send your ass, ass to the Largo, Largo loop, loop, they will they let, let your ass to the Largo loop, loop till your contract expires, expires two, years two years from now, and ain't nobody even thinking about your name. You're not wrong. And, 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 and we need to talk about there. So why matters a lot of the times, right? In situations like this, so it's not just well the revival are underutilized. Well, why are they underutilized? It's because they have, and while they might be, like you said, outside of the Usos, the best in-ring tag team in that company. They have they they get the they keep the level of interest as much as like dry paint the boring is all fucked they have no gimmick they have nothing of interest other than wrestling yeah yeah so if you're not watching a match with them why would you care about them in any facet and this is it just harkens back back to the same old bullshit bullshit. bullshit. and we're gonna gonna probably probably shit on fans fans like we always do but you think about it it, the the thing about the revival is it's very much much, if this is a fan-pushed movement 
It's very grassroots in a lot of ways. Like the people that you always hear mad about it, you're not going to hear eight-year-old Jimmy in the crowd upset at the revival. Like, all he's worried about is if John Cena's going to show up tonight and fucking give someone the AA. He's not worried about the revival. The only people that are worried about the revival, and this is just God down his truth, is are people that are in our, you know, that are kind of like us, that are hardcore wrestling fans, that understand how great they are as a team. But at the end of the day, like we say so often, and I haven't been on a show, I hope you guys still carry the torch for me. It's still a business. You know, and if they're not moving the needle... So, well, and the well, thing is, know, the same, same people, people who bitch about, about it are still, are still going, going to the going fucking, fucking show. show. Like, well, that's and never going to stop. Can... That's never going to stop. Like, they're still yeah, fucking showing. Show. They got... But the thing but is, the thing those is, same people don't, don't fucking understand, understand that as long as you're still going to give them your fucking money, why should they care what you think? Listen, I don't have to name names, but there are people we know that on Twitter or whatever, outside of outside of this group right here, the three of us, that will literally sit and bitch about Raw every week. But it's like, it's like you're literally still, still watching. watching, and we know you're watching because you're sitting there bitching about it. You know what I mean? Like, like that's like they will break down all three hours of the show. And hey, I do it. And there's times where I don't even watch and I'm bitching about wrestling. Okay, but at the same time, you know that consistently, the people that really love wrestling are always going to come back to it, even if you hate WWE's product right now. You're still going to sit and watch because it's like you're waiting for something better to happen. And the funny thing is, we haven't even touched on Mike and Maria, which I think speaks to how irrelevant they've been essentially since they've come. And that's not all their fault. We know Mike got his issues. Sure. But what I mean by that is, you know, the issues with Mike and stuff, that's kind of, you know. But they're requesting their release makes a lot more sense if you think about if you think about even taking all of his issues away. If you think about where he was in the companies he worked for Prior, prior to signing, to signing. And, and where, where he, is he is right, right now, now being, being on 205, 205 even, so. if even if it's a renewed, renewed push for him, for like Rance pointed Rance out, out, I could I see could where from a from talent's point, point of view, you, you might, might feel like, like I'm, better I'm better than this. Than this. If, if I left, I could be used better than this. I'm out. Right. I don't, I mean, I don't actually, there's no, I have no ill will towards any of these guys. Maria and Mike, especially, I mean, it is what it, it is. is. Mike has had his issues. He's come back, back from them, from them seemingly, seemingly at the moment. He looks, he looks fantastic. fantastic. Good for good him. For if he feels like, like his can get a get better a paycheck, paycheck somewhere else, else jump to AEW. I mean, the man, the man over there is a billionaire. So, so go see, go what, see what you can do. I don't even think for Mike it's so much the paycheck as much as it's being used. Yeah, sure. I, he, he's pretty much been doing nothing. Well, it is the well, only, the only person, person who, at that, that time anyway, anyway um, had been, been watching, watching Impact. Impact. Like, that was that the height of the Broken Hearties, Hearties and all that. that. I, was I was watching for that. that. No, right. I was watching Mike too. Bennett, 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 the miracle Mike, Mike Bennett, Bennett was, was awesome. a high-profile. High mm-hmm. Like, when he and Maria first debuted with WWE, I was very excited because the miracle Mike Bennett I will, I will stand, stand for that. For that. The, the co-main of their Bound for Glory that year was Mike Bennett and EC3. And EC3 just came off of that long title run. And that's just impact. When he was in Ring of Honor, he was a part of the of one of the top stables in the company, the Kingdom. So, yep, like, yep. he's been utilized very well in other companies. So I'm with that. So I guess to put a bow on this whole situation, my question to you guys is, if these reports are true and either – or both uh, have requested their releases. Do you think this is the beginning of an exodus, if you will? Here's why I'll say, I'll play devil's advocate and pretend that it might be. And here's why I'll say it might be. When's the last time they did any spring cleaning? Sure. Been a minute. They used to do routine releases of people who weren't being utilized or who they hadn't used in a while or didn't have plans for or whatever. They haven't done that in a hot second. Well, the payroll they keep adding brands. Yeah, well, I mean, they're making more money, money too. They, can keep they, are, they making are making more, more money. money. You're, You're right. You're right. right. You're, You're right. right. But I'm just but saying, I'm like, like, they used they to let people go, and, and so you never so really saw people asking, asking for their release because, because if you weren't being used, your ass was probably out the fucking door pretty soon. Yeah, they hold on to people more often, and wrestling at the end of the day is an ego-driven 
so, like, so, like industry, industry I, could I could totally, totally see, see some, some people's, people's egos, egos getting to them, them like, like Man, man, I'm better I'm than better this. Than I could be doing better, better than, than this. this. I'm, I'm out. out. But the but the rumored guys, if we're gonna if we're gonna include the revival in the Kinesis, the the rumored guys besides them are Zack Ryder and Ty Dillinger and you know people. See, like and this, that. this yeah, yeah, and this. Man, I'm sorry man, to cut you off. This, this isn't exactly, exactly. This isn't exactly Zach Moses Moses leaving the Jews, Jews out of Egypt. Out of Egypt. If they all leave, okay? okay? It's, I mean, it's, 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 it's what are we talking about here? About here. Thank, you. Thank you. What are, what are we talking about here, though? You know? And I'm not I'm hating on, I mean, of course, I've never been a big Zack Ryder fan, fan, but an exodus, an exodus is like the least word I want. Like the least, like the least effective word. As For me, it's more like a, this is going to sound terrible, but taking out the trash. Like, none of these guys are doing anything, you know? They may have success somewhere else. I'm not saying they won't. They'll all be successful because they've all shown that they have something about them that gets them over but the question well, is the do we think more people revival, will revival, I was going to yeah. say the thing, for, the, revival, the, revival, for the, example, the revival for example the thing that gets them gets over is something that will make them a shit ton of money, money on the indies because on, on the indies all you need to be is a good wrestler, wrestler. Sure, no, sure you're absolutely right which is why I worked in, which is why I worked at NXT but I just I just I'm, I find the whole fast I find the whole, whole idea of you know people work people are sheep in mass so Two hundred people will want to do one thing in a second. Nobody will do it until one person says, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do it," and everybody else wants to do it. So there might be, legitimately, I don't know, thirty people in that company who want to leave, but they're like, "Well, fuck it, I'm gonna just keep on going," and then they see the revival leave, and then maybe that empowers them to say, "Well, I want to go too," and even if it is lower card guys, that's a story, because how many people willingly want to leave WWE? It doesn't happen. Cody and Neville are the only guys. Yeah. And Neville yeah. didn't want to leave. Neville wasn't being treated right monetarily. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I was, no, I was going to say, I think Cody's, Cody's really, really the only, only one, one that's, that's ever just, just been, been like, like nah, nah, I get paid I get enough. enough. I get I used. Yeah. I just I don't just like how I'm how being used. I want to do something different. I don't want to be here anymore. Can I please go? And maybe right back. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Ryback. Right the difference, the difference is, is, like, I know people I know hate on Cody, on Cody because Cody's, Cody's not a five-star five match waiting, waiting to happen, happen. But, like, but, like, unlike, unlike Ryback, Ryback, Cody's talented, Cody's talented and, knows and knows the business and knows how to knows work, how to work. So, like, so, like, Cody's, Cody's still, still working, working and, and successful. successful. Ryback, Ryback is just a dude. dude. Ryback has a podcast like we have. He's just He's a really big dude who gave a finisher to CM Punk once. And then, and then got, got beat, beat by, Mark by Mark Henry, Henry at WrestleMania. Because he fell on him. <laughs> but it's okay, because okay, this, this was post Hall of Pain, Mark. And, and if there's, there's anyone, anyone that I will stand, stand for, for, it is the Hall of Pain, Pain, Mark, Mark Henry. Henry. I, I do think, though, the next four months are going to be super interesting because you know there's <laughs> going to be some people who want to who stick around for the Mania paycheck. Um, as well, know, they should. As well, they should because they'd be a fool not to. Um, but I'm really interested to see how this AEW roster rounds out because if if AEW ends up being, I'd say 50 percent of WWE cast half half of WWE cast offs, they failed because that's not the, that's not gonna work. It needs that's to be impacts all, impact all over again. again. Exactly. Well, let's, well, like, it, okay, so just, a, just a, as an aside here, anybody that's going to go, and this is just the honest God truth, you know how back in the day on Monday Night Wars you had a lot of people jumping shit back and forth, right? If anybody from WWE is going to AEW, we're not we're not talking about the radical shit, okay? We're not bringing in, there's no Eddie Guerrero's coming to AEW. Or are we, Carl? Maybe Zack Ryder just needed that one push. Well, and he'll maybe. be the biggest guy in the business. <laughs> maybe, but maybe. I'm going to take my chances on this and say probably not. Okay. You know, the, honestly, the biggest, honestly, the biggest, the biggest jump, jump here is Jericho. Is Jericho. I think that's pretty – and he's, he's in almost 50. 50. Right, but and, 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 and if I can backdoor that, if they legitimately can get AJ, which I, I'm 97% sure it won't happen, but if they offer him 30 dates a year at $2 million, you'll be a fool not to think about it. Right. You know, um, that would be a huge gift for them. I just don't see that happening. Happen. I, mean, I don't I mean, either. I mean, I... But AJ, AJ isn't a, he wasn't a WWE guy. He's right. become a WWE guy, but AJ understands the the importance of being enterprising right. outside of the the machine. 
he's to become one with the machine. He loves the machine, and and God damn it, pal, Vince loves him. <laughs> Vince loves the fuck out AJ Styles. Get off but my he, television, my Vince. Vince. Get off, Get off my, my fucking, fucking television. television. There's the first mention of that that I'm sure will be numerous times tonight. Well, the next well, topic, the next is, topic is, falls, falls with it. With it. Well, yes, so, but so, final, final bow on it, but final bow on the situation. I think it's just really interesting, and I think the revival and, and Mike and Maria could lead to a lot more people choosing to want to leave than we think. And but I will say on the other side of it, the Blackpool car with the UK, um, and and how good that show came off, the opening of the UK Performance Center, the Phoenix Takeover Phoenix card, and the Royal Rumble card, is like the best. Stay with us. We 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 we, we know what we're doing over here. Right. That they right. can do, in re, in response to AEW. Sure. Sure. But the but problem the with problem that is going to be, be, if the results, the results aren't, aren't the way the, way the stay, stay with us with crowd, crowd, you know, the, you the know, way they want them, the people want them to be, be, it'll be all for naught. Crowd the match is not great, great, but you know how it is, man. If, 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 if your boy don't win, crowd don't pay the bills. Well, the crowd does pay the bills, but they don't. Right. Um, right. But Rand, it's my dollar, and that's what I want to see in these shows. Okay, Mr. IWC fan, show me a ticket that you actually went to a damn show. I pirated, I pirated that, that stream, stream with, with my mother's, mother's internet, internet connection. connection. <laughs> okay, well, give your mama a 2995 for the month and shut up. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting topic, and I'm glad I got Carl here because Carl has a totally different perspective than me and you and I do. The rise and fall of Braun Strowman has become one of the most <clears throat> interesting stories, I think, that isn't being talked about enough. This dude was over like very few we've seen in a long time. Um, he was doing was things. Almost ultimate, ultimate warrior s in terms of like how like popular, how popular he, became he became so quickly. So quickly. In the moment, yes. I, no, I, I I said at the time, check your boy out. It wasn't sustainable, but he in the moment. It was a it lightning, was a lightning, in, a lightning in a bottle. Like, like, yes. Let's let's, let's let's catch, catch it, it. Let's strap, strap the, rocket the rocket to it, and it, then and when, then the, when time the time comes, comes let's, let's detach, detach that, that bitch. bitch. Never and got the big in orbit. orbit. Never got the big win. Now he's had he's had big wins. I mean, the dude still beat Roman more than Roman beat him, but he and never got the big win. Him throwing a chair is forever gold. Yes, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, but to see the dude at the top of his powers. Not not get the title on, on numerous occasions, rebuild himself, and then not get it. And now, as Kyle put it earlier, um, in a conversation we were having, to get cooled off because of numerous reasons, injury or Brock or whatever it is, and then to finally, once he got cooled off, for us to finally see his flaws, because he always had these flaws. He was never a good talker. He was never a compelling in-ring performer. And he was never interesting outside of the crazy shit he could do. You know? Now we see the flaws, and it's almost like people have turned on the dude. That's well, a hell of a yeah. story. I would, what I would happened? Somewhat, somewhat disagree, disagree with the with in-ring the part, part just because, just of, because of the fact, fact that, that his freak of nature, nature status, status and like, like they, tried they tried to build to up build the up things that he did he well did in the, well ring, the ring, his speed, his speed the fact that he could do, you know what I mean? Those kinds of things. The power, the, power, the things that normally build up, but I think the speed would always for a big man. A, absolutely. absolutely, I think those are some things that you could latch on to. And, and we had this we had discussion, discussion, you and me kind of got into, into a little bit of a, a tip about it. But that was more about Brock Lesnar than it was Braun Strowman. Yeah, because well, yeah, you changed the subject. Well, like well, Braun, though, I've never got. I don't have. The thing about Braun is whether this is him or not, he always had his flaws, sure. But the problem with Braun. Is half Braun and it's half WWE because, because they had the chance, chance to strike all the on the hot and at least see, see where it would where take, it take them. them. They chose they not, chose not to, to for you know for whatever. This is we're not talking. This is pre elbow injury. injury. You know what I'm you talking, talking about. about. You oh, yeah. hey. The first time he faced Brock one on one. Correct. Back at I think it was no mercy. No mercy. Yeah, that's what it was. They didn't made him champion. That. Even if he only held the belt for like. 
a month, a month or, or two. two. Right. right. In the, In the ongoing, ongoing saga, saga of, of building, building towards, towards that Reigns Lesnar mess, mess that, they that they had at Mania, at Mania that, that year. year. I think I we'd think be we'd having, having a totally different, different conversation, conversation about, about Braun, Braun because, because it, wouldn't it wouldn't be the rise and fall of Braun. Braun. It would be would more, be of, more like, of like, man, remember, man, remember when, when Braun, Braun got that, got that first, first push and it was, and it was awesome, awesome and he right. just hasn't yeah. been able to recapture the magic? The magic. Sure, it'd, sure. Be the, it'd be the Kane story, not the Big Show story. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Which, Which, I mean, I mean you, know, you know, honestly, honestly in the, in the end, end, both of them ended, ended up being, being Hall of Famers, Hall of Famers but, like, but like, uh, you feel you bad feel in bad either situation. I just don't think, you know, with Strowman, it's just kind of an interesting... It's interesting because it's, interesting, it's, it's obvious, obvious. It seems pretty obvious, obvious that injuries, injuries and stuff like that. He's obviously, obviously fizzling, fizzling out. out. We've discussed, We've discussed the fact that he can't really can't talk, talk. You know. You know and, and I, I here's the thing. thing. And that's and, and I, 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 was I was talking about, talking about this with somebody, somebody else recently. recently. Not, being not being able to cut a promo and not being able to talk is like plaguing. To me, it plagues a lot of guys. It really plagues a lot of people. And you can and I put some of that. I put some of that. On, on how, how highly, highly scripted, scripted they've, they've had, had to, become to become because, sure. of, because their of their corporate, corporate structure. structure. Right. Because, because I, think, I think, you know, you as, know someone as someone who's got a little, little bit of a theater background, background talking, talking in front of a crowd, crowd especially, especially off the cuff, cuff improv, improv talking, talking in front of a crowd, crowd is the, it's, the, it's, it's the type, type of thing you can only get better at with experience. Right. I'm a teacher and I teach the same class four times in a school day. The fourth time I've done the same lesson, I am way better at it. Right. Than I, right. was the first the time, first I, did time I did it. Just because that, that repetition, repetition, getting to practice, practice it, getting, getting to go, go through, it, through it, you can, you can only, only get that with that real reps. reps. And, and being given, given scripted, scripted lines isn't, isn't real reps. reps. You're either, either good, at good at the delivery of, of these fake motivations, motivations that they give you because wrestling storylines aren't deep like that. Right. Or you're not. And so... I think I part think of the part reason why, why so, so many, many especially, especially the faces, the faces because, faces because faces are inherently are less interesting, less interesting. I, think I think the reason so many of them struggle, struggle to talk, talk is because we because don't, don't they, they, they're, they're no longer, longer able to give them, them the, talk the talk freedom, freedom they, need. they need. And that's, and why, that's why so, so many of the best talkers are the ones who spent so long elsewhere where that's where not that's the not case, case, where the spotlight's, where the spotlight's not, as not as intense, because, because Samoa, Samoa Joe's, Joe's been cutting been promos, promos in front of a camera, camera for 15, 15 years. years. Ambrose. He knows what the fuck he's doing. Dean yeah. Ambrose yeah. has been cutting a ca- promo, promo in front of a camera, camera for, a for a decade. He knows what the fuck he's doing. You can even say Daniel Bryan, who didn't talk much, but still had to practice. Yeah, yeah, like, like they've, they've been, been doing, doing it. it. You know, you know AJ, AJ, yeah, AJ's, yeah, AJ's never, been never been charismatic, but like but working, working for TNA, TNA he, had he had to cut his, his own promos. promos. So, if he, so if he can make his own uninteresting, uninteresting promos somewhat, somewhat interesting, he can make he can the make vanilla, vanilla shitty given sound interesting. Sure, sure. <clears throat> well, I think it kind of, this is something I was just kind of thinking about while we were talking about this, is a lot of what you notice now, and you guys, I know y'all see this, is. There's so There's many so fans, fans now that, that want to see, see everybody, everybody be at the top. Be at the top. It's, like, it's like, we want, we want everyone. everyone. Like, like, if we think they're deserving, give them the belt. Give them the belt. The and it used to be, be maybe, maybe five, ten five, years ago, that WWE would hot potato the shit, shit, shit out of titles. And, and what you're seeing right now is a push to where they're real careful about who they give the belts to. There's a reason Brock Lesnar's been holding that title forever. I don't care I don't for Brock. Care Brock. It's not, it's this not, isn't this anything, is new. anything new. But there's a reason that he held the title for as long as he did. There's a reason why AJ. I think AJ. There's a reason why I think Roman Reigns would have held the title for quite a while. P. Dunn. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these are great, like, great names. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I don't think that there's anything inherently wrong with having longer title reigns. I think the problem that WWE's had is they haven't been able to find the balance of. Okay, okay, when is, when it, time is it time for us to, for us cut, to this? cut this? Right. A lot right. of a them, lot of they've them let, you know, AJ's, AJ's most, most recent reign is a great example of it, where they, they let him run with the belt, with the belt for so long that it that ended up ended coming at the expense, expense of the opponents, the opponents they were trying, trying to, build to build for him. For him. Well, it's a baby face thing. Baby faces with long title reigns is always bad. It really is. Like, it should be... If you're a heel, you should have the belt because someone needs to be chasing you. You should have it for a long time. That's why I think Daniel Bryan, if you put, like, his current character, you know, 
If he holds the belt for a year, I think it'll continue to stay interesting. Because one, he can have great matches like AJ can. But two, he's got this, you want to kick him in the teeth all the time. You're just waiting for him to lose that belt. Whereas with AJ, he can only cut the same, this is the half of AJ Styles look promo over and over and over and over. That's why I want to feel, I mean, that's why I want to feel Miz to be WWE, WWE champion, champion was, right, was right. like you, like, could, do the, you could do the, all, that, all shit that shit with Maurice, with Maurice and like him having all, all that shit. Like you, you could perpetuate a cocky asshole, asshole with an entourage, entourage and a TV, and TV show, show as your as champion, champion for as, for as long, long as you, as you needed, needed to. to. He, yeah. proved he proved that, that once before. before. He will he find will every chicken shit a list way to walk out the building with that damn title. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't, I don't know, know, guys. I mean, do you guys think that we're actually? Do you think it's? You think Braun's toast? I mean, what I mean by that is not released or anything. Do you think it's over for him? Like he's not going to? I think he's going to win the title still at some point. I just don't know. I do too. I do too. I just think he's a good example of someone that everybody could see. You have lightning in a bottle. You should strike before. It disappears, it disappears, and yeah. by the time, by they, the time they they're gonna finally gonna strike, 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 the momentum the will momentum be gone, will and we'll all, think, we'll like, all think like, oh, if they'd have oh, made him the champion a year ago, this would have been huge. Been but huge. now it's but just now it's okay. Just, he's okay. Champion. Bray Wyatt. Like I mean, it yeah, feels I mean, a little yeah, similar yeah, to that, yeah, you know. Like you had it, take it and go. You know what I mean? So let me look at it from let me look at this from a different perspective. Um. See. I am of the belief that if you're ever at a point where it's, it's one thing if your if your career is derailed because of an injury, or if your career is derailed because you changed a gimmick, right? But if you're the same dude doing the same things, and they love you at one point and then they fall off on you, that's that like all this has shown me is that Braun should have never been champion in the first place. Now I'm saying that acknowledging that. He should have got a run. I think he should have got a run with the title. But I don't think he should have ever been champ. Because not only were the, were the flaws evident then, the flaws are evident now, but I just feel like everything always evens out. And let me give you an example of what I mean. Um, I've explained to both of you guys ad nauseum about how I feel about Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is probably the hottest wrestler in the WWE right now. But as for I believe that while she's over, she's tremendously over, and while she's insanely deserving of her spot, the cheers and adoration aren't earned from a character standpoint. Right. And the way she's, the things she's doing and the way she's acting are so drastically different than the Becky Lynch we've been, we've come to know. It doesn't feel authentic. It doesn't feel real. It feels like, to me, I'm sure her fans will say otherwise, and that's fair, but and then the the character she has where she's she's becoming ingratiating where she always needs a combatant and she's always looking for someone to troll or to attack. It's a try it's, it's a try hard bullshit is what it is. Like I mean right. at a certain like, point. It's it's so hard to make her Steve Austin, Austin and like she's Irish she's she's Conor McGregor and Steve Austin had a baby. But all of that to say this, that you can see that yes, there are times when she's still getting the same reactions, and there are times when the crowd's like, okay, we're just here. We're just here. Yeah. But I I told you, Kyle, that six months from now, the crowd's going to turn on her. And I feel that way only because when you look when you look at some when you look at some of the guys who have gotten sustained top level cheers recently over the past ten years. Cena, Punk, Brian, to an extent Roman, Seth, Dean. Like, when you think of these guys who had sustained, consistent cheers from A or the fan base, the one thing they all have in common is, on screen, they earn those cheers. We watched them go through trial after trial after trial, and they didn't get the one big moment like that. Their big mom was stretched and stretched and stretched and stretched and stretched. Becky got it all overnight. Well, I think you would. I think. Well, I think you would. I think. 
people are going to argue that. I already know it because that what they're going to say it. is, well, sure. Becky sat, say is, well, Becky did nothing sat, for did nothing for eight or nine months. Did, however, however did, the difference however, between that is, between and that where is, I would take your side on this, is that they had to completely flip a switch with her. It wasn't Becky for the first eight or nine months that sipping the tea that had the big moment. It was Becky flipping the Becky turned heel. In order to get yes. there, you know what I mean? And I think with you know people I mean? like Rome, Roman's great example. Like Rome, Rome he went through this for, you know, God, he's been faced forever. Still, you know? still going yeah, through it you know? when he comes back. So, yeah. I mean, it's kind of one of those so, things, I mean, like, kind of those I, get like I get where you're coming from, and I actually, I actually you're not alone in your thoughts that Becky is starting to get old. You may seem like it, with because sometimes it's just us, right? I know people that I know personally, on a personal level, I watch wrestling, I don't get on Twitter and forums and all that stuff. That will tell you the same thing. That it's like, all right, we get it, Becky. Like you can out Twitter everybody. Like, and she's great. Please don't don't parse my words and not think that I don't like her. Becky's sure, amazing. Absolutely. Sure, and that's. Absolutely. But I think here's the one thing you got to remember about, about Becky. It's not like she's out here crushing like people who are like A pluses at Twitter. A pluses at Twitter. You know what I mean? No. I mean, Ronda sure Rousey enough. is the Ronda worst. Rousey might be the worst Twitter user of all time. Well, and, and the mic after Oscar. Oscar, 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 Oscar shit. Like, 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 well, well, and the mic work thing. Well, I mean, if you saw Ronda Rousey's segment with Sasha on Monday, if you put Ronda in the ring right now with anybody who's got good charisma and knows how to work the microphone, they're going to outclass the shit out of her. Sure. Because... Sasha made, Sasha made her look a fucking chump. Sasha made her look a fucking chump. That'll, that's, that's that'll change in two weeks. That'll, 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 that'll make her look like a little shit. This bitch she is. is. It'll be yeah. over. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm not, I, I, I don't I'm disagree not, there. I, I, like, I don't disagree I, there. Like, not at all. Yeah. But, France, one thing but, I will France, go back to that you were saying you were about, saying you know, injury, about, you know, injury, to be fair to Braun, to like, to Braun like, that elbow like, seems to be a recurring problem. A recurring problem. He is yep. still he apparently is not still fully cleared because of that elbow that he had operated on for the second time. So it's not even like this is multiple injuries to different body parts. He has a nagging, recurring major injury injury to one of his arms arms that is probably even worse than what they're letting on. See, what they're letting on isn't good. What I think the problem is with this is it is a recurring injury. I think they they should have... I don't know if this is him or WWE, so I'm not, don't, WWE, don't, so take, this not, don't take this out of context, whatever, but either him or the WWE should have, the WWE should have made the decision to say, okay, you're going on the shelf shelf. Like, shelf. like, I'm not talking like, I'm not too talking much, you come back, much, whatever. You're going, going back, on the shelf, like, on like Sami Zayn, Zayn is on the shelf. Like Kevin to me, that falls on the company, and here's why I say to me that falls on the company. These are athletes. Is These an athlete athletes. ever going to pull themselves out of No, they can't get out of their own way. Like, that's, that's and, and, that's, that's, and so to me, that's, that's why it always so falls. To me, that's that's I totally understand you're an adult you're right. and you, you need to take responsibility, to take responsibility for your own health and blah, blah, blah. blah. But I mean, we're all sports fans here. We see it in our sports of choice and the teams that we follow all the fucking time. Somebody had this nagging whatever injury and realistically, you should have just shut it down for like the first month of the season like but no season. i'm gonna play through it i'm gonna no, play I'm through gonna it play so you through, play like shit play all year long because you never sat out but if you'd have just sat that one month you could come back playing like an all-star again, again. Right. Right. to be and to be fair the first time they sat him out and he really was gone this time this happened right after roman had to leave yeah. leukemia like yeah. that's the yeah. worst luck oh they had bad and the only other guy right and the only other two only other guy you had at that level at the moment was Braun. It was Braun, Brock, and Seth. And Seth was in a in a in a in a, in a thing with the IC title, which is why you end up having to turn Ambrose to get another. Like so, that's thrown so. We we still I don't think have come to grips with the ramifications of Roman's injury or his sickness. Sure. And how much sure. that's changed. Everything about I think that that, that kind of harken. I, I don't that, know that how much you like this, but I, I think it does kind of harken back to the fact that no matter how much we love some no of these wrestlers on the roster, there just, aren't enough, just, aren't, just aren't, aren't enough guys on the roster with star power. And whether and whether that means that WWE needs to do a better job or that these guys also need to do a better job says a lot because the company should not live a guy on 
an injury or a sickness. It just shouldn't. You should have guys waiting in the You're wings right. a little bit, you know? But but to put it back full circle, the question is, are we giving them opportunities? Because Kyle has pointed it out ad nauseum in his entire conversation. We were all crazy about Braun. Yeah. He was yeah. light in a bottle. And nothing's changed about him. But we're cool on him now. Like, why can't we stay sustained with somebody forever? Yeah. You know? Well, I think like, some of that well, goes I back to. Goes I think back some to, of that goes back to. Some of that goes back to. We're, we're all millennials here. here. What era did we era grow up did watching? Grow up yeah. watching? The, attitude the Attitude Era. era. If you had a True. title for more than a, a week, week in the Attitude Era, era. some shit, shit was going they down. They must be building towards something. This motherfucker's had a title for sixteen whole days. Like. In like, Attitude Era, it attitude wasn't uncommon era, to see the same title change hands three, times, three times, on the same show. times on the same show. So I think... I think if you, you bring a hardcore 24-7 title to a three-hour Monday Night Raw, oh, that that. that motherfucker's Shout out to Ricky. ten champions, champions in one episode. Shout out to Ricky in the hardcore title. Ten champions in one episode, and three of them are crash house. three of them are crash house. I think this is the perfect segue, because... We're talking about building stars and new stars, and the next topic is literally about someone that everybody's been clamoring for. Well, you, well, you take over because this is the one thing that I know you were excited to talk yeah, about. Yeah. So yeah, let's just talk. So let's just jump right in. We know that Braun right had his title shot taken away. Shot taken they had a match later in the evening to decide who was going to face Brock at the Rumble. Brock. It turned out to be. I'm not going to lie. I'm an old man. I fell asleep. How was that match? Right. I haven't seen it, so I couldn't tell. So it was. It was. I mean, it was. It was a decent, a nice little fun match. It was it, your standard. It, 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 four I way tweeted fair. before. I once tweeted they. Once they before, said once that Finn had to wrestle Gender to keep, a gender spot. to keep his spot. I tweeted before. Finn is going to beat Gender, and he's going to pin Cena, gonna pin and, that's Cena exactly and that's exactly what happened. Okay. I haven't watched yep. the show, I but it's just. It's. It's so, it's so easy to see because Cena is the guy right now that is kind of putting people over. He's really kind of like passing torches. That seems to be what he's doing right now. He needs to pass yep. his to ass pass to a fucking barber. <laughs> I won't argue with that. He needs to pass the Clippers. He's turning into Ernest. He's turning into Ernest. You know what I mean? No, dude, turning turning into Ernest. I don't care that he's got his hair grown out, but he's got this gross comb over part thing going Listen. to try to hide that massive bald spot that he's got in the back of his head. And it's really fucking gross. And as like, I'm not even one of those gay people who's like, oh, I got to get manic. Oh, and shit, but like, and like man, you gotta like, get your hair game on point a little bit. Well, here's the deal. He's about. Uh, he's he's a, he, uh, is uh, he's he's he is one dead, one dead fan of the camera and saying, "Burn, burn, 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 burn from becoming earnest." I swear to God. Okay, and if you don't, you haven't seen any of those movies, John Fine, but I. Shout out to those who know. But anyway, Ernest scared stupid, baby. Yeah. So let's jump to Ben Balor because this is a guy. This is a guy. And I'm the, I'm the, the, the Listen, I'm the first to tell you right now. I couldn't give right a deal shit, shit, shit about Finn Balor. I love, I love him. I love him as a human being. I don't care about him at all in wrestling. Okay, and that's and I'm gonna get shit on for that. I've been getting shit on for that. Nah, man. No, you won't. Not from me. You won't. Fair enough. For Prince Devitt, like right. Flex with Prince Devitt. Then kind of bored. Well, let's just be honest, though. Well, let's just be honest, we though. seem to be in the minority on this. Finn is. No, 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 no. We are not. Most fans feel like you feel, but they have convinced themselves that, well, I like Prince Devitt, so that means I got to like Finn Balor. Right. <clears throat> well. So that's what it is. Well, you guys have made the distinction that, well, he's not doing Prince Devitt things. He's doing Finn Balor, who's essentially a GQ model with a smile. <laughs> That's interesting. And that's this is the this is my problem. This, this, this is, is kind of my problem. problem. First, of First of all, I don't have an issue with Brock and, an and, and, with and Brock Finn because I think it'll be a much better match than Brock and Braun. As a matter of fact, I know it will be. Braun is Brock does too. Brock likes working with the little guys. Exactly. The matches are great. Brock will sell his ass off for Finn's shitty offense, and and Brock will suplex. He'll basically break Finn over his knee like Bo Jackson. Okay, that's that's how that match is gonna go. It'll be fine. It'll be 15 minutes, I'm sure. 10, 15 minutes, whatever. It'll be good. So that's not my thing. So that's not my problem with all this is just the fact that I don't understand. I don't understand. 
I don't know, guys. I'm just me and Finn Balor. It just doesn't work for me because it feels so telegraphed as it is. I would. I understand everything about his pandering, and I don't know how to put my finger on why. But everything about Finn Balor's character is pandering. Right. To something. Right. And I'm not quite sure what it is, but something about it is just like this really gross, really gross thing. Thing. It's hard to explain, right? And that's kind of why. And that's kind of just for one, I've never like I'm not one to harp on. I'm not one to harp on like how good like, of a wrestler you are necessarily are because I've like tons of wrestlers that were not good. That's not a really a thing. Not a really but I think thing. the problem with, with I don't feel like, I, I, hate feel like fact, I hate the fact I understand they bring it out for special occasions, but I hate the fact that he's just Finn Balor's smiley happy and then all of a sudden he puts some face paint on and now all of a sudden he's he's going to whoop up on Brock Lesnar or something. Like, give me a fucking break. At the end of the day, he's still Finn Balor. This is like, The Undertaker is the only guy that I will allow to still get away with the supernatural bullshit. You know what I mean? Here's the issue. Here's the issue. I think I, I think I can put it in words. Finn Balor, the regular character, the extraordinary man with, with the extraordinary, whatever shit they call him, is okay with being aimless. But he has this split personality that he taps into when he needs to that is extremely dangerous. The problem is they have never shown the dichotomy of him and the demon. It's always been two separate entities. Right. So right. It does, if you if you if you played it and I'm I'm fantasy booking now, sorry. But if you played it as he he's so aimless because he has to stay that way, or else the demon will like take Jekyll over. Hyde. Then like it made Jekyll sense, but it just looks like he don't give a, doesn't went, care half the time. Summer Slam. Oh yeah, shit. Summer Slam feels, oh, yeah, like, shit. Forever feels like forever. Summer Slam feels like forever ago. It was about forever ago. It was like what six months. I mean, when you and I mean especially I mean, when, when you, you have I mean, like ten shows in those six months. Ten, well, you had ten shows in like yeah, two months, like, but yes, yeah, yeah, and it was a surprise then. It was never. Oh, that's here's the thing. Surprise. Here's the thing. Oh, I can't even remember who he was wrestling. Baron, Baron Corbin because he's been wrestling Baron Corbin all year, nonstop. So there you go, though, right? Like they're, it's so like even go, when they do right? utilize it, even they utilize against Baron fucking Corbin. No offense to Baron, but it was it was utilized correctly because it was essentially a. I'm tired of you. I'm gonna just watch you real quick. It was Venom eating somebody because he's tired of. And that's cool, but then they kept wrestling. That's cool, but then they kept wrestling. Like you know what I mean? Like even like, though it was like, hey, I mean? get like, rid of them, and then they just kept going, going even after. Yeah, but that's, that's the true. roster yeah, thing that's taking shape. By the way, how do y'all feel about, the way, about the way they're using these new people? I love that, and we can actually talk about that. But I don't want to jump away from this topic because I just I'm curious what you guys think about this. I said on Twitter that I think Finn won the title. I'm. I'm, it's, a um, it's a little tongue in cheek. I think they. I'm going to say this on blue in the face. I think they should. I think he should. Now, the problem now, is, it's hard problem for me to wrap my brain around it. Because the difference between because someone like AJ someone and someone like, like Daniel wrestling a Brock Lesnar. In Daniel's, Daniel's case, he got the upper hand by kicking Brown in the box. Okay? Otherwise, he was going to get his ass kicked. With AJ, it's a little bit different. He used different. a different style to get around Brock. But the thing about Finn is, he doesn't have any, like, outside of these little like, kicks these and all these little, that's basically, that's basically it. That's basically his offense, for the most part, is strikes and kicks. Brock Lesnar's a UFC fighter, guys. He's gonna, he can take a few kicks. What he can't do is take a kick to the balls. And all of a sudden, you're going to tell me now the demon has come out. Well, his offense doesn't change. It's just Finn Balor and face paint still doing kicks. So it's hard for me to buy into a Finn Balor win. Even if he were to win the title. Even if he were to win the title. Have you ever watched Split? Yes. Yes. Remember when uh, Kevin turned into the Beast? Yes. Yes. That's Finn and the Demon. Like Finn's regular dude, when he becomes the Beast, he gets a little bit taller, gets a little bit right, stronger, right, right, right. and right, can right, climb right. walls. And it's 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 genuinely the supernatural effect, uh, you know. Of and some some somebody said on Twitter. That reasons why um, Finn can be Braun, it's scripted. Oh, that's the only it's reason. It's true. You oh, can script any, You can script anything you want. Doesn't make doesn't mean like to make it'll make sense. But I I think there is a this is just me. You know I find the small stuff and things. There's a story to be told that Brock has his best matches and gets challenged 
more than ever by these small yeah, guys. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And he's gonna slip up one of these days because every single match he's had with small guys in recent times, it's happened. He's the reason it's gotten. He's they've gotten the best of him towards the end of the match. It's because he underestimated them before sure. the match started. Sure. And one of these days it's gonna catch up with him. So what <coughs> I proposed was the rehash of the Goldberg Eddie Guerrero story. That since Braun can't wrestle. And Vince screwed Braun out of the title match because Braun couldn't keep his temper in check. Finn, the underutilized but over-deserving star who hadn't got a chance to be in that spot in a while, gets to fight Brock at his at his peak powers. Um, Braun and Brock still got beef. That's not done. They're not. They're gonna remind us it's not done. Come match, Finn's gonna do everything he can and gonna get beat, but be resilient like Finn always does. This and that. Brock, Braun got to come out of the crowd. Once the referee gets knocked down, he's going to win the power slam Brock three times or whatever it is. Coup de gras, Bing, bang, boom. It's just like there's no way out 2003. Well, I'll say that. It's well, not the only way I'm buying I'll say that. It's not the only way I'm because buying Because if anybody, if I feel like if and, anybody and they can, know like, that reach, like, anybody can, like, can like, beat the shit out of a demon, it's I mean, probably Brock Lesnar. You know what I mean? I mean, like, that's And they know. And Finn's not going to be the demon. Ryan won his first world title. The Big Show came out. The Big Show came out. Fuck Mark, Mark Henry up. Mark Henry. Mark Henry up. But they broke yeah. his hand. Yep. Yeah. So that's fine. I mean, I'll be honest with you. As much as I'm not a big fan of Finn Balor, I'm still here for it. I'm, that's, I'm not going to pop I'm or mark out, out or anything. I'm just for a full-timer nice. being champion and, and for Paul and Brock to take a long hike off a short pier. I think that's where a lot of us are. I finished, but you you tapped into something that I think we could talk about one day. We're not doing it now. But Finn is like I really find it interesting looking at looking at these characters and thinking about their motivations and why they are who they are, and Finn as a character doesn't breed. He doesn't seem like somebody Finn isn't who care a, about. Finn him. isn't nearly as interesting as Fergal Devitt is. Interesting as Fergal Devitt is. As a person, yes. And you're talking about the character? You're talking about Prince Devitt? No, I'm, yeah, I'm saying Finn no, I'm Balor saying is not Finn as interesting Balor as Fergal is. As as Fergal is. But Finn doesn't do anything. That's why. Finn has no motivations. Finn has no actual fuels. Well, that's what I'm Finn, saying. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, like that's, him there's nothing more there. of him himself. More of himself. And is, but is it that they're not? Is it because I've, I've, I've heard in interviews that Finn says he smiles all the time because he wants to project this image and do these things. Is are what we getting what Finn wants us to project or what Vince is telling him to do? I'd venture to believe that it's more on the Finn side than the Vince side. Like he said, Finn, Finn pinned Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns clean his first three weeks of, in his, of, of his career in the main yep. roster. Yep. Finn's done it all there is to do in the main roster. He got the immediate rocket. He got the immediate rocket. You don't get a push you any quicker push or better than that. Quicker or better than that. After sometimes he was number one pick in the draft. Sometimes I like to think to sometimes myself, like what to could have been if, if he had not gotten hurt? he had not gotten hurt? Well, that's why I want to see what I... And again, fantasy book, and I'm sorry being a fan here. But that's why if projecting what I projected, that would lead to, if I could book, Finn Rollins for the title, Braun Brock in some no holds bar match that leads to Brock going away for a minute. You kill two birds with one stone, and you finally get the Finn Rollins feud we never got. And imagine building up to that spot where he's going to buckle bomb him again outside... And like the call, it's just, it's just, I think it's a really, it would be, it would really behoove them to kind of go that path and get it all. As a token out. person who's not super high on either guy, really they would really have to sell on that. I'm the only person they would have to sell on that because everybody yeah. else is super high everybody on both of them. But like, both of them, but like man, 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 I have so much more respect so for much Seth more than respect I ever did before. I still give a fuck what Seth Rollins is doing. I don't care at well, I think all. a lot more. I think a lot more people are starting to feel like you, but it also goes to show that we're in the generation of microwave. Yep, man. You know I never cared about. You know I never cared about Seth. You didn't, but but Seth was the IWC darling for years, and while Seth is still over, 
there's more than ever it's been a oh well you know Seth is cool and all but Seth really is, is he really that great? Does he have wrestling oh, psychology? Seth's great. He's oh, got psychology. Great. I just you don't care psychology. about. Seth. I just don't care like, about Seth. Uh, but I'm like, saying more people are starting to feel like you, whereas everybody was on the Seth except for you was on the Seth Rollins train from jump, and I find that interesting, much like Braun, much like. Becky, much like a lot of these guys who have gotten to that spot, yeah, no, and once they get man, to the apex, no. you know what interests me you know on that same me? token, that same man. Token, man. All anybody wanted to fucking talk about is turn Dean heel, turn Dean heel, turn Dean heel. Oh, can I spit some fire? Now, now? don't nobody give now, no fucks about him. No Please do spit your fire. Please do spit your fire. Spit some fire on that. It bothers me personally. That we as a fan base are so caught up in our own bullshit that we can't allow a very intricate, passionate, and deeply rooted storyline to play itself out because we didn't get what we wanted in the first two weeks. The the unraveling of Dean Ambrose as a person, as a character, was highly and extremely interesting. But because we have built ourselves up for years, that when she finally got to Dean Ambrose at heel, he was going to be John Moxley and do the, the Ledger Joker thing, and he was going to run rub shot over the, over the company. And instead, he's basically acting like a petulant, hurt child the other, the other way. But now, that has caused so much disinterest in Dean Ambrose to where he's aim- he not only is he aimless, we don't know what he's gonna do uh, he's right now. He's being actively de as we speak, we speak in front of us, like actively de Actively de And that bothers me, man, because that story was great to me, and I appreciated the fact that they decided to do something different. Because tell me this, if they would have pushed Ambrose as Moxley, like he was back in the Indies, like everybody wanted him to be, would he be booed? I don't. I honestly don't know. I don't. I I don't know what the fans are gonna do anymore because the fans never do what you think they're gonna do. Fans never do what you think they're gonna do. I don't have a major opinion on Dean. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't think he's getting de pushed. I really don't believe that. I don't think. I don't think. You think it's a cooling off? Maybe. I mean, it doesn't. Maybe. I mean, maybe this particular story that they went with, the way they went about Dean's heel turn, wasn't the way everybody expected it to be. I mean, whatever. But, like, I don't think that's just, like, he's still Dean Ambrose. You know what I mean? He's got goodwill, I think, and I don't think that he's going to be. This is the guy that was, like, their workhorse for however long. You know? So, I just yeah, I just don't think he's the guy who always overcomes shit booking. Sure, yeah, he can sure. turn yeah. chicken shit turn into chicken salad, chicken as they say, right? And shows up to work every right. single so day. I don't think he's being right. de-pushed. He's being de-pushed. And, listen, and listen, it's WWE. Things can change, things can change on, a whim. on a whim. So let's just not let's no, not be let's so not, certain not that you know that, there's you know, not something bigger in store for him now. Do you think they're sending him back to SmackDown, or are they sending Seth to SmackDown? You know, I'll be honest with you. I don't even want to try and speculate on any of that stuff right now. Because Seth. I can't keep up with whatever the fuck they're doing half the, half the time anyway. But I, Seth and AJ but are gonna be—they're gonna keep Seth and AJ apart forever. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But in, the, in fairness, they can still shit being the smack guy and just send AJ to Raw. I mean, AJ yeah. does. Vince I mean, AJ loves AJ. Does, and AJ loves Raw. Love 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 Meanwhile, the two people that they Meanwhile, need to keep apart for a considerable amount of time—they never stay apart. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Of course. Of course. Them two motherfuckers just Them need to like just not be on like, the same show for a good solid year or two. Since Sami Zayn the UK for like six months. Man, don't yeah. even have to send him nowhere. Let him, him uh, nowhere. Let, let him, him call uh, his good friend El Generico for, friend for a couple of months. El Generico for a couple of months. <laughs> okay. okay. He's down at an orphanage, buddy. He's down at right. an orphanage. Yeah, right. just let him yeah, come back from his let South, him American come back from South American orphanage. Yeah, man, I don't know with Dean, guys. Yeah, man, I, don't I mean, I, I guys, actually, I, like I, I said, I don't, I don't think it's a deep push, but, push, but I don't but think. I'm not sure there's a clear direction I'm for him sure right now. And can I tell you why that upsets me? Can I tell you why that upsets me? Yes. I am tired of Dean Ambrose being the one that never has shit to do at WrestleMania. 
Except for that one year he was on the marquee. The one time. The one time. Every other year, like Every the one year, year like, that I was the there, he got pushed to the fucking pre-show. Well, to be fair, we had to see Naomi Glow. Oh, I mean, I am not oh, I mean, hating on Naomi getting her shine because you know I am here for Boo. Even as ridiculous as that fucking hotel spot was, I was still here for it. Because they are hashtag I love everything about relationship it. Goal. Relationship goal. Yes. The oh no, the only thing yes. about it that didn't make sense. I was on board with the whole fucking thing until the random paparazzi the random camera paparazzi guy came. Camera because, guy I'm came. Just like, because I'm just like, bitch, you on fucking bitch, television. On fucking like, television. there's a television like, camera television right camera. there. Fourth wall, Kyle. Fourth no. wall, Kyle. No. 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 That's no. exactly what I mean. They've been acting like cameras on it for years. That's not a new thing. There's disbelief. Suspend your reality. Suspend your reality. Suspend Suspend your disbelief reality. Reality. and all that no. stuff. No. 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 Because you know what we did back in the Attitude Era? We had GTV for this kind of shit. We had questionable GTV video footage that would have teased some kind of inappropriateness for weeks. For only weeks. for Jimmy only to finally Jimmy find the undoctored find footage undoctored that shows his footage part at the end part where part he end. told Mandy that this could Mandy never Mandy happen. This could never happen. <laughs> well, we just had that a couple months ago, remember, with Aiden and Lana. Yeah, but look at what happened yeah, to my boy Aiden. Bring, my boy bring Aiden, Aiden, bring Aiden, Aiden back, back to SmackDown. I need his dulcet tones in my life. Um, Before we move to SmackDown real quick, because there's a couple of things we want to talk about on SmackDown. We kind of moved off of this for a second to finish the Finn conversation. But the, but the NXT call-ups backstage. First and foremost, before we even get to them, yo, Lars having, supposedly having anxiety, anxiety attacks. Anxiety attacks. That's, that's, crazy. Crazy. that's crazy. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I know oh, Lars has been getting some shit Lars for some things shit. he said in the past or whatever, but it's unfortunate still. Sure. It looked like there was something planned for him. I was going to say, if, what was, was gonna if, say, if what was, if the rumor was, of what yeah. they had thought about planning for him is true at all, I can totally understand having anxiety attacks. I'm going to talk about getting thrown to the wolves off the bat. Like, it's a pretty big wolf to get thrown to. But here's the question. I don't think he'll be punished for that because while they're petty, they're not savage people well, like that. And they're Anything a corporate anymore. business. No corporation, no corporation wants, wants to be seen as being insensitive to mental health issues. Yes. Mental health issues. Exactly. Yeah. But do you yeah. think? But but very clearly, it could affect his career because they might not feel like he's ready for stuff like that anymore. Yeah. If he or every kind of time it's time to give him a big moment, it's like, oh, well, we really like, want to oh, give him the Intercontinental really title, but, like, if we, like, if we give him the Intercontinental title, title, is he going to be able to handle that, or is he going to, like, have a panic attack in the ring? Have a panic attack in the ring. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna call it right now. I think Lars Sullivan is going to get his release in the next month. I think he's done. Mm. I think they at least let him I debut, and, and then they never do anything with him, and then he goes away. You say let him debut. He ain't showed back up since. He might not ever want to wrestle. Of course, him. they did stop the of video packages. That's video more telling packages. to me than That's anything. Than you me. didn't see a single Lars Sullivan video package, video and you saw package. all five of that mother motherfucker. Even, motherfucker. Right down to Even right down to EC3, who just has, all the, just has out all, out all the makings of washing out a second time. See, I disagree with that too. See, I disagree with that. I just think he feels like such a cast off. Like he's just there. Like he's just. There. Here's my thing with this. Because, Here's my thing with this. Oh, real, real quick, real quick. He's right. beca- only because nobody knows why he's EC3. He's just EC3. Right. You don't have right. the backstory with his rich aunt. Which is why. Which is so, why. Sorry, I Kyle. Why sorry, Kyle. Allow him to be Ethan Carter the third, and you don't have to name who his rich aunt he is. He can just be. I'm Ethan Carter the third. I'm a snobby rich motherfucker who's got connections, and I use my connections to get a job here. But he has that catchy music, so he's gonna get cheered. So Man, he has to be fuck faced. That. His Man, TNA fuck music that. was His way TNA better. Give me trouble with the finger wag any day. Right, but 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 at that time, at that time, he could have came out to the poppiest shit ever. He was Dixie's nephew. He was getting heat. Oh, yeah, I mean, no, oh, by the yeah, end, I mean, by no, the by end, end, he was by TNA's end, golden boy. He was like their top face. No, no, I'm saying by the end. I'm talking about when he debuted. Oh yeah. And he was a he was a heel. He could it could have been the, the the best music ever, 
But he was Dixie's nephew, so he's getting. Yo, me. man, trouble is great. This is a different trouble world. Trouble is a great thing. Trouble, trouble is a great trouble, thing. Trouble, 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 Talk your talk. And listen, we're all of a sudden, we're like, oh, they've already, already buried him. He's buried. I'm like, really? Like, really? Elias literally Elias walked through the crowd the first time we saw him. We didn't know who it was. And then the second time, he's look playing strums in the back. In the back. And now look at him. Look at him now coming at him. in here with some, with some fire. I'm just saying, talk, boy. where is Elias saying, now? Where is Elias now? Right? He is right? one of the most over guys they have on that roster. And listen, if they do it right. If they do there it right, are pe- the people that they're are calling up. Easy Three's got the Easy potential, of course, because of who he is. Course, I know you guys aren't big Lacey Evans fans, maybe, Lacey but Lacey Evans, Evans has, got the, has got the potential with her, with her, with her. With her, with her, with her my only concern with Lacey, no, I think Lacey's going to be great. My only concern with Lacey is, was she in NXT long enough? Is she ready? Right. Lacey's going to be great. She's got amazing upside. I think that she has a higher ceiling, realistically, than Alexa and Carmen. Carmella did, Alexa and Carmella did because she, I think she's going to oh, yeah. be a better wrestler. I, think she's I actually think she has the highest ceiling of any of the pull-ups. Honestly, because I think like what you said with EC3 could easily be a washout. Lars, look at where this is going, right? I think Heavy Machinery is doomed to be a WWE comedy. They're going to be a comedy act, but they're already, like Otis is already the GOAT, man. Like everybody's already talking about it. Oh, they're fun. You know what I'm saying? They'll be tag champs. Let me tell you tales oh, by they're June. Gonna be pushed. Oh, they're they're going to be pushed. I don't no, mean that. I just mean that because they're a comedy team, this is going to be one of those where it's like they're going to get pushed really, really, really far, really, really, really fast, really, really and then when the comedy kind of wears out, they're going to be de-pushed just as quickly. Depends. I mean, I'm not saying this is exactly who they are, but this this team, like, too cool, right? Like, these cool, guys right? went forever like guys with that shit, forever, you know, and they were absolutely you know, they were a combo. Absolutely combo. I, I think the, the difference, the oh, diff- sure. right, I think the difference between Heavy Machinery and most other comedy teams are the other comedy teams do comedy to overcome, to overcompensate for the fact that they're not very good. Heavy Machinery was a good tag team that doesn't need the comedy. They just happen to be entertaining. Yeah, and they're also huge, so they're, yeah, they're, they're going to be intimidating so regardless. Gonna be intimidating. I mean, yeah. I mark out and every time Otis says, Oh, Ducky! <laughs> oh, and, and uh, one more thing on Lacey. Um, if you worried about her Magnus becoming a problem, Jack Swagger literally had a dude say that the Eagles were sneaking yeah. over the border. Yeah. So, he the hottest the people. So, watch with the Tea Party flag. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing. I'm yeah. sure, I'm so sure I'm saying, I'm sure sure I'm sure I don't know that it's as, as hardcore as we might think it is. It's not Randy Orton. No, it's not. Randy the gimmick. Orton's you know? I'm talking the gimmick. Oh, the gimmick. Okay. Oh, the gimmick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That gimmick is golden. That gimmick's going to get so much heat. So much heat. Not oh, not because of its magnetness. That its gimmick's going to get so much heat because there are a lot of women in the crowd. And I don't, crowd, and I don't know about y'all, but the women in my life do not appreciate not any appreciate woman trying to tell them how to, how to be a woman. Right, yeah. Women can't right, yeah. wait women to hate a woman for some shit like that. I think, who are the other call? I know I'm missing. Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross. He'll be fine, though. Yeah, oh. Nikki with Sanity, she'll be fine. Nikki with Sanity, she'll be fine. Easy three laws. Nikki, Lacey, Nikki, heavy, heavy machinery. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Machinery. Yeah. yeah there's there's six right? Six right? Yeah. So outside of Nikki, Nikki has so the potential. Of Nikki, I actually think, and this, you guys may not agree with this, this I think they need to keep Nikki away from Sanity. I, I, I really do. And the reason I why I say that is because they've done nothing with Sanity. I think they leave it alone. Nikki's singles career, but I think Nikki, as an obvious part of the group, just makes more sense. Well, I'll put it this way Sanity needs Nikki more than Nikki needs them. Let me put it even further. Enzo and Kaz and Carmella, they kept Carmella away for a reason because they saw star power. Now she's the only one still yeah. standing. Not yeah. saying that Killian, Alexander, Killian and Eric are talented because they're great. Wasted. Killian being wasted. Killian being wasted. Insane. Well, you well you can blame Sawyer Foden for that. Yeah, because he went and got hurt. Yeah, because he went and got hurt. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. so much yeah. upside. So much upside. I think I just think that I mean, I think, I just think that, I mean the way they're doing these. The way like, they're doing these. Okay, like, so this is the way okay, debuts, so typically the typically debuts typically go. Outside of someone like Chris outside Jericho, who is like, like the exception to every fucking rule, and Elias, who 
It worked beautifully with. It worked beautifully with. You have two options, it seems like, with WWE, WWE and debuts. Three. You can come in and be a jobber. You can come in and be a jobber. You can come in and beat everybody, you like you always do. For months and months and months, at months least months nothing. And months and months Shout, out nothing. Shout out to Brothers Clay. You can, <laughs> or you can do what they're doing right now, which is right this slow, is like this we're slowly slow, introducing like them. It's just little, little bitty things. Little Thanks, Rats. I'm watching. I'm watching, I'm watching, the, watching, video. I'm watching like, the video. Like, so, it, so this is what they're gonna, either they were going to do so this, they were, or they were just going to send fucking Lacey Evans out there, Easy Guy out there, have them squash local talent for three months, and we'd hate that too. So I prefer this because it's a slow this, introduction, slow introduction. But, as said, but as we've said, and it's been a theme, said, theme across the show, nobody wants to wait. Nobody wants to wait. They don't want to wait. They see they you, oh, he debuted and he didn't oh, say he didn't anything. Didn't oh, say anything. Oh. like all of a sudden, like, it's their career's sudden, over. It's their career's stupid. Over. I, appreciate, I appreciate that for the first time in years. WWE said, fuck it. We're going to do some shit different. Yeah. Oh, this is they new. They told you they were going to. This is new. Yeah, this is new. Well, yeah. we're the authority. <laughs> we're the authority. So, this so is, there you this go. Is, I, mean, yeah. I think, I think the call-ups, yeah, I, think, I, think I think they're handling them fine. They're handling them fine. I mean, there's plenty the of other is, stories that to whet the appetite while you wait for them to integrate themselves into the roster right now. Look at this Royal Rumble card, man. this Royal Rumble card, man. Yes. Are we really concerned about Otis? Are we really Rumble concerned about you know, Otis? Like, does he have to be over like, right now? Does he have what to are be the like officially a announced yeah. matches other than Finn, Finn Brock, AJ, Brock, AJ, Daniel, and I'll the, run the card Rumbles. Rumbles. Here's, here's, Rumbles. Here's the card. Men's Rumble, Women's Rumble, Brock versus Finn, AJ versus Brian, Ronda versus Sasha, um, uh, Oscar versus Becky, um, the Fatal Four Way for the Cruiserweight t- title. If you don't know who that is, that's Murphy, um, Hideo, Kalisto, Lucha Booty, and um, Tozawa. And then um, we got Rusev Day and Shinsuke. Okay. With a pop potential oh, for still a Mandy and Naomi, and Naomi match in there, possibly. Yes, and, and of course, you can't forget the GOAT match, the match that we're about to talk about right now. Miz and Shane versus the Bar. <laughs> Fuck you, Shane McMahon. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. How dare you? You are ruining the Miz, and I am not here for it. Now y'all can have the rest of the segment. Y'all can have the rest of the segment. I don't. I don't think. I don't think they got through. Can you say it one more time? Fuck you, Shane. Fuck you, Shane. And take your dad off my goddamn television. My goddamn television. I told you we were gonna hear that multiple times. We're going to get it one more time before the day's over, I'm sure. Um, I, so let me say this. I am one of the people who was... And after this, we're going to, we're going to gush over Andrade and Ray. So that's coming. Um, we don't have to spend much time on this, but I just find it funny because Kyle hates it so much. I was against the pairing because ultimately it has to lead to them splitting some kind of way. And Miz and Shane aren't interesting to me in terms of a the pairing of them as a, in a match situation. But they have really tried so hard to come off as an endearing friendship. And I'm sure they are really close in real life. Um, that is kind of cute now. And it's, 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 it, you know what it reminds me of? It rem- you guys were watching back then. You remember when, when Eddie Guerrero was healed and right before he died, and Batista, he was trying to be friends with Batista because he won the title. And Batista kept making him be legitimately good, which was leading to Eddie really being good right. again. Yeah, I do remember that. Right. This is what this reminds me of. This reminds me of, like, Miz. Everybody knows Miz is going to turn on him. But I think maybe Shane really rubbing off on dude. It reminds me more of and when like, Eddie hit on China the first time. Like, the first time. Wow. He, had something he, wow. wanted, he had something he wanted, but it was going to lead to Mamacita. And Mamacita. Like, well, let me ask you this great, though. Like, well, let me ask you, you say that. Story. What does Shane that? have that Miz wants? What does Shane have that Miz wants? Power and the and, best and, world trophy. Yeah, power, but he's never going to get power. power the actual power, power, right? power, right? The only thing that he needs. Listen, the only thing that they he should he drag this out then if they're going to do that because the one thing Miz probably wants that he hasn't had is another chance to be world champion. So you can't turn on Shane between now and WrestleMania if you're hoping for that to happen. 
happen. You got to use Shane to you get a title shot at WrestleMania, maybe. At WrestleMania, and then maybe. after you get what you want, then maybe you turn on Shane. You can't do that like this two weeks ago against the bar. You just can't do it. Otherwise, it's useless. But I don't. But you're saying you're acting like. But yes, what if Shane, turns think, on Shane turns See, on See, that's what I that's think. One thing. That's what I think. What if Shane's just like, man, Shane's nah, fuck this. Like, I told you I didn't want to be your goddamn you partner from the jump. I saw some problems I, and I, I rolled the fuck out. I am I not a performer. I'm, I'm almost 50 years old. I'm almost 50 years old. I don't see that happening. That would be interesting if it did. I know, that's why I want it to happen. I know, that's why I want it to happen, but it won't. No. <laughs> here's here's my thing with all this. You guys, I okay. So like two years ago, we made predictions about what we thought would happen. It, it like in I think in 2017 or 2018, and I said okay, I think Miz will win the world title by the end of the year. I didn't get there. I didn't. I was not close. That ain't happened. He had a great yeah, year. Travis, that was the start. Great, that year, that though, was the start. Was the start. Was of the, that was the same um, year that the, the Talking that Smack stuff happened. Smack they had, had, had a long title, the IC title run, run, the great match with Ziggler, Ziggler, that, that whole thing. Ziggler, that was Miz's, one, one of his best years ever. I just want to put him down on that list of underappreciated talent. Absolutely. I agree. Underappreciated on television. He no, gets all kinds of opportunities, kinds to be of movies and no, on a no, TV show. I mean, underappreciated yeah, amongst the fan base. I don't. Yeah, mean, I can see that. Like, yeah, amongst the, see the that. company, yeah. the company amongst sends the company, him out to do all the PR. You, all the PR. you can you tell the company loved him. They, they loved allowed him to have his own reality show. Absolutely. Like. They I mean, love like, Miz. I mean, amongst the fan base, because like, especially like, within the especially IWC, within like, the like IWC, before talking like, smack, before Miz talking was a punchline to, punch to a lot of people. Well, because he's the because he's the three star general, as Rich would call him. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, Rich, yeah but, but, actually, yeah, Rich is a thing, Miz guy now. But, yeah, yeah, but you know, surprise, surprise. Yeah, but, I'll, bring know, I'll bring him up Cody again. I'll bring him up again. Cody Rhodes done showed everybody three stars is all you need. Three stars, three stars can get you. I, I disagree with that. Million. I think Cody, million. Cody Rose and Miz are the exceptions to the rule with these fans nowadays. And it's because it's because Cody is so good at character work, and because of everything else, Cody. If Cody didn't, if Cody wasn't the proprietor of All In and AEW and all the things he's done over the past year, and he was just Adam Cole. Doing the same things he was doing, they have turned on him a long time ago. But because they Rance, feel like he's a conduit Rance, to what they want, they deal with. But Rance, that's just, Rance, because, that's just because, like we talk about every, like week, we talk about every the week, the IWC doesn't the want to admit to itself, but they will pay for a character before good wrestling. That's word. That's that's real. Th- that's they real. will. That's th- they, they will. will. They want to pretend they that they only pretend care about the in ring. But you look at all these three star classics that we were just talking about. Cody is a character Cody who's a character really, who's fucking, really interesting. fucking interesting. Joey Ryan sells Joey out all those Ryan indie shows not because he's putting on five star matches, but because dick flips are interesting. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. It sells merch. Lucha, I'm with you. I wish, Lucha, I I wish y'all could have. I wish y'all could have seen his face right now, cause that was the smartest. <laughs> I'm telling y'all the truth. Well, here's the face thing. I've ever well, seen him make. I don't even have to respond to this because I don't even have to respond to this because everybody that knows me knows that I can. If you can put on a great story, I don't give a flying shit if I'll get you my shit. You can go out there and tap each other. Tap each other. Slap fight each other for five minutes. If you told me a great story. I'm not even worried about yeah. your match that much. You ain't gonna blow me away. You don't need to do all the shit that. And listen, y'all are about to gush and over listen, a match gush over that a did match all the great things, all the greatness, all the great, right? All the great and that's right? perfectly fine. That has to place too. But, but I still am taking, still my, stories still am taking my, my stories over my matches. The matches, my stories. My stories. I need, I need a story. I'll watch a fucking arm wrestling contest if you book it right. I'm just saying. So, I'll, I'll, watch yeah. a Russo, I'll, I'll watch a Russo, Russo I'll special. Watch a, Russo a fucking special. pole match if you book it right. You buy yourself on that. If you book it right. Back up. Buy yourself on that. Before y'all move on, back on the topic, though. I just think that they have. I just think that they have. I don't know if drop the ball is the right word. I just think they went in the wrong direction. 
far with, direction with Miz. Because, because they did. Because they right. Did. Well, I mean, some people Rance don't like that. Some what direction to go in? And Rance and I stand for Captain Planet. Don't get don't get us wrong. We are here for Captain Planet. Because Captain yeah. Bennett has because said what we've been Bennett saying on the edge for years, the edge for which is that the fans are fickle, fickle as fuck and they don't know what they want. And they don't know what they want. Fickle. But, but we told them what they should do. We told them what they, they should, should, come they should come let the Miz dethrone AJ Miz Styles and made him a dominant heel and champion. Dominant and they should have finally let Daniel Bryan win the Royal Rumble and face Miz, who he had never beaten up to that point, and then have Daniel finally get the monkey off his back. I was on the show frequently when we were talking about this stuff, so I remember. That's what they should have fucking done. You on the show frequently? Hey, I remember this conversation, though, because you know I've been all on this with the Miz. Like, this is the way they should have gone with it. And a lot of us say, we sound just like the same wrestling like, fans who are like, fans they should do like, this. They should do this. Well, of course we do all but, this. But we're actually right. We're so that's the difference. Right. So that's yeah. the difference. Yeah. Obviously, don't forget yeah. it. They wouldn't be Obviously, listening to our show if they didn't know that we were right. The only people who are right more often than us are the Tongans. Boy, you bet. Journalism. This is the point of the show where we give all difference to the Tongans. You are right. We are wrong. Um, Andrade versus Ray, man. First and foremost, uh, no, Andrade, no Cien Almas. Cool with it or not cool with it? Not, cool, give with it. not, give not cool with it. Not cool with it. Andrade not Cien cool Almas. It. Andrade it's Cien a Almas. mouthful, it but, it's, a mouthful, cool but it's cool as fuck. What'd you say? I you said I don't, I, I said I don't give a because shit. Because I don't give a shit. Like it's just a name. Like it's just a name. Let me tell you why normally this, normally I don't care, but why this one just irks me very slightly. This one irks me very slightly because they made it a point to point out the fact that his nickname was part of his name. It was never just Andrade Almas. It was always Andrade C.N. Almas, which let us know that they wanted us to, to, to pronunciate every syllable of the name. Because C.N. isn't his middle name. No, it's, it's, always in means no, it's just his nickname, yeah. right? But, they, but yeah. it's always been a point to focus on that. So taking it away kind of kills the whole point of the, the reason he was named. Changing Adrian Neville's name to Neville is cool because people get called by their last name a lot. Rusev and Cesaro, cool. Elias is inter- is more interesting to me when I look at it than Elias Samson because Elias sounds like the guy I would go watch at a bar and stuff like that. Big E, for what he does, you can see a guy <laughs> lo- lotioning himself up with syrup as Big E, not Big E Langston. Like all the other ones seem to have made sense. But this one doesn't make sense because of how much you pushed the last name and, and the nickname. This, so, and it also de-emphasizes his Latino-ness. His Latino-ness. His it really does. Like, it really Andrade, does. Is like Andrade is still a Hispanic name, name for sure, but like, for sure, you, but took like you took all of that other shit all out. Of that other shit this, this is why I don't think it's that big of a deal. First of all, I get your point. You make really great points. And I don't think you're reading into it too much. I think those are great. Whatever. The reason why I don't the reason really why I doesn't bother me that much really is because much is because I think it Andrade. I think it Andrade. I'm gonna call him Andrade. Okay, call him you guys Andrade, call him whatever okay. you want. I'm just gonna call him Andrade. Well, he's he's Andrade. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think that Andrade is just gonna be just fine. And for the simple fact that one, he still got Zelina Vega by his side, and two, what you guys are about to talk about right now, this motherfucker puts on nothing but fire matches and in a. And in a yeah. company in right a now, company in a right world, now, in a wrestling in a fandom wrestling where you see so fandom, much focus and people so just want to see amazing matches, amazing you could matches. call him you could call him shit stain on toilet paper. On and as long as he can go out there and, and put on these fucking matches, you know what his name is. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're right. What's so impressive, what's so impressive is he can do it with literally anyone. Yes. Literally anyone. Doesn't matter who you put him in the ring with. He's one of those guys He's who finds, guys a way who to finds a way to raise his competition. Raise his competition. And I think the, the the important thing that none of us have noted yet is that them changing his name almost guarantees you that Vince sees something in him because that means that Vince is touching him. Vince is looking at him and saying, I want to make a change. You can make a little tweet. He's got new gear. He's taking new gear. He's taking new gear. Well, hey... 
Hey, him and Zelina stay fly. <laughs> That's true. They got a million. They got a million of them clothes. Yo, and I, I will yeah. say this. Yo, I will say this. I love that fucking entrance where he comes out with the La Sombra mask. Oh, yeah. Whip that shit off. Whip that shit off. And, oh, I can't wait till Mania when he had... I can't wait to Mania when he gets the pyro back. Because uh, the uh, entrance without the pyro is stupid. Yeah, no, I, I, I love it. Because yeah, no, he just, he's just like, look, look like he's just humping the ground. But when he has the pyro, it makes sense. AEW has pyro. Um, AEW has pyro. No, but um, seriously, no, though. No, um, hey, the revival in the Kenevis might be able to No, but seriously, though. No, that seriously match though, oh, I'm sorry. Mysterio, the mechanics and Mike Bennett. Uh, that match with Mysterio uh, was Mysterio my TV match of the week. My TV match of the week. Um, um, straight fire. Straight fire. Um, the two of them um, have amazing chemistry. The two of them have amazing chemistry. I was mildly myth that they were just, you know, giving it to us no already. Giving no kind of program because I would love a program between them. Um, but um, but sign me up for more of that. Sign me up for more of that. Every now and then it's cool to get one of those. And yes, you shouldn't be shocked to have chemistry because they got like seventeen generations of wrestling between them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, luckily we're just oh, in an era luckily, where, and they're both and natural they're both luchadors. Natural well, Rey Mysterio has well, Rey apparently Mysterio either A found the fountain of youth, or B is or just B all up on some roids and some special some shit. Some and either way, I'm here for it. Well, his news so, so it's fine. So maybe yeah. on that keto diet and shit that we see in the news all the fucking time. No, what it is is he went to Tijuana. He got it. Right, right outside his face. Can mind something about yes. Ray here? I'm just gonna touch on this. I know you guys want to gush on the match. I saw about half of it. I haven't seen it all. I got caught in the middle trying to watch part of it. So I haven't got a chance to watch the whole match, and I will because when I hear when everybody gushes over shit, I will go back and watch. But what I saw was excellent, of course. But I wanted to touch on one thing about Ray real quick. Just no less than a week or two ago, just people no were just talking about how Ray is just a guy. No, he's just, just a guy on SmackDown. Guy and first of all, I disagree. First of all, and second of all, disagree. even if that was the case, even if that was the case, that's fine with me. That's Ray fine is with me. capable Ray of putting on a great match for anybody. And Ray also, and Ray also, I mean, he shouldn't. It's not like Ray should be the world champ. He should be there. He's a three-time world champ. He He's a three-two. Well, I mean, like right now he should be. Like right guy. now he should just be a guy that's in there to put on great matches, aka like a John Cena is right now. John Cena's in there to kind of help push people, put people over him. You know? All the motherfuckers, John, Ray, Randy, Jeff. Oh, that's what the fuck. That's what the fuck they should be there for. These motherfuckers are in their mid forties on the low end. Yeah. Jeff is only like 39, Jeff but Jeff's also like been wrestling since Jeff he was like 15. So Jeff like, wrestles like, like he's 59, bro. Well, he is fi- like, <laughs> 59, <laughs> like 59. In dog years. In dog years, yeah. yeah. But like, no, like, but like, no, like they are, no, these like, are old are fucking men that are holdovers in are some of their cases from, because I'm going to include Ray in this, these are holdovers from two eras ago. Not even the ruthless aggression era. Jeff and Ray holdovers from fucking attitude era. Yes, they are. Because Ray was on ECW and on Nitro for a long fucking time. I remember Ray when he was unmasked. Yeah. And before he was unmasked, when he was masked. Yes, yes, I remember when Ray lost his mask. I believe it was Chris Jericho. I believe it was Chris Jericho. I don't remember who beat him to unmask him. I want to say it was a mask versus hair match. I want to say it was a mask versus hair match. It was Kevin Nash. I, all I remember when I think I, of Ray and Kevin Nash is Ray after Kevin he Nash lost the mask, I threw him like a fucking lawn dart. him like a fucking lawn dart. But yeah, I mean, that, like, you guys feel free to gush like over the match as much as you want. I just wanted to point that out because I feel like there's, there's something like, I don't know, it's back to the fans, right? I don't understand. I can never, this is why I don't like to just sit and chill on too much because I don't get, I don't understand. I can't shit on what I don't understand. Because the real problem, Carl, is what Rance was saying before. There's no making them happy because if Ray was world champ, then they would bitch about how here you got this old guy coming in and taking the shine from the new generation. And this is why they can't create new stars because these legends all come back and get pushes. So they don't push somebody, so don't and push it's like, somebody. well, wait a minute, why is so and so just another so schmuck on the roster? Well, which the fuck one is it? Well, okay, perfect example. Until until what the the authority came, I'm sorry, until the McMahon family came back and deemed us the authority. God, get the fuck off the television been, already. Fuck <laughs> three times, Andrade hadn't said it, hadn't been on TV for like months, right? 
So imagine if if Ray would have won the title at that point. Well, Ray's here, and Ray come back and walk into the title, but Andrade can't even get on TV. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I think I think they I'm want saying, something think, in the middle, something which I understand, middle, by the way. But they don't know what it is that they, they want in the middle, and that's the problem. Middle, and that's the problem. No, I think what it is is they want the. I think you're you're you're. Think about it in inverse it. They want everything on the opposites, but realize that they can't have both. So instead of just detracting themselves, they just keep saying both on the opposites. Right. Yeah, that's right. fair. Yeah. That's because fair. you can't have both. Like. Everybody can't be champion. In a match with two people, both guys can't lose. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. Somebody got to lose. You know what I mean? But um, uh, one thing we had on the list for tonight is... Oh, so it's time for everybody's favorite segment. Yo, y'all, I'm not actually going to shit too I'm hard on Ring of Honor. I'm actually going to pay them some yes, compliments today. Them some compliments. And we're going to shit on them, Well, too. I mean, yeah, but there's well, always I mean, room to yeah, shit on them. Yeah, but there's always room to shit on them. Let's start um, with the compliments. Start compliments the compliment. to Ring of Honor for trying to go out there and sign some top-level talent. Top they level just talent. recently brought they in Ruth, one of the Bruce. godfathers of Los Ingobernables. The, the, the main Los Ingobernables, uh, not de Japón. Um, um, he was one of the men who taught... That's a fist that's not He was one of the men who taught Tetsuya Naito how to be tranquilo, y'all. So, like... So like that's a huge signing a huge to get him away signing, from Mexico. Away that's, a from Mexico. that's a huge signing. That's a huge signing. And it hurts uh, MLW because Rush with Roosh was signed to a match at a big show, WrestleMania weekend for MLW. He can't do nope, it. No, but you know what show he nope, can do WrestleMania weekend? That G was So that's so, a big move. They've, it big also, move. they've, signed, a they've signed a lot of people. They've signed a lot of people, and they've signed a lot of luchadors, which, as someone who appreciates which, Lucha Libre, appreciates I, totally I totally am okay with that. I'm okay well, with that. The two luchadors they signed are excellent Lucha Libre wrestlers. Yes. Bandito's amazing, yes. and Rush is amazing. Yes. Mark Haskins is really good. Brody King is really good. PCO is insane. Um, I'm, somebody else I'm missing that they just signed to. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Tr- Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. However, like, that New Japan, Japan that, that New however, that New Japan influence is creeping in because everybody in, and their motherfucking brother is in a goddamn patch. So, if you haven't been watching Ring of Honor, um, after at their most recent uh, tapings, Juice is, is Juice has been, I guess, pushed to do more Ring of Honor shows this year. So Juice came over and they had some matches or whatever, and Juice started this new. Stable with, of course, his right hand man David Finley. Um, shout out to Tanil Dashwood, who's been healed of her psoriasis or whatever she had. She's in it, and then you add the three new guys Hot Sauce Tracy Williams, Bandito, and Mark Haskins, and they're called Lifeblood. And they're supposed to bring back the honor of Ring of Honor. Why everybody knew got to be in a stable because you just threw PCO and Brody King in a stable with Marty Scurll. Why are we doing stable wars? I told you, man, it's that New Japan influence. Everybody in New Japan's in a stable, so now everybody in Ring of Honor gonna be in one too. (laughs) There's only one stable that matters in Ring of Honor, and who are they, sir? Um, Uh, SCU. The the Kingdom. They're not there no more. The Kingdom. Oh, that's right. I forgot the Kingdom. Release the balloons. That's right. Dun 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 Q Matt. When those balloons when those balloons come from us from under the ring, like I get so hyped. Dude, no, I mean I I still mark when Taven comes out with the staff and he bangs the staff. Um, on beat, like I'm just like so fucking hard. So hard. You you know you know who does that for me in the same scenario. This is the part of the show where Carl has nothing to say. Nope. Uh, Not a damn thing. <laughs> Not a damn thing. In Rhea Ripley's music, when she comes out and she does the stomp at the cue of the... Uh, I mean, I'm just a fan bro, of anything like that. She does like something that. Like that. Like, I'm all about like, some pomp in your entrance. Pump that's, pump why, in like, that's why, like, I like, love when Mike Kanellis was on the indie Mike scene. I loved Maria's scene. intro love to Maria's intro for him, him about, intro I am the first about, lady of professional wrestling. Do you believe in miracles? I believe. I believe. And the music, yeah. it was just so yeah. over yeah. the top. Everything about it was so, about it was so excessive, but it works. Excessive, but it works. So I, I, I think it's interesting to me 
AEW, the one thing that they've done is they've kind of shaken up. Created hype. Scene. Created hype. They've, they've created hype, but I mean, everybody on this shit now. Ring of Honor signing everybody. Impact is trying their best to re-up people oh, because, oh, be, because they're trying. Because the Lucha Brothers, Pentagon and Phoenix, they like they are trying so hard, AEW, to get them. Shane Swerve Strickland just left MLW. And with, with Swerve gone, with uh, MJF signing with AEW eventually, you know who else just and then losing out of Roosh, that somewhere. hurts Core Bauer's group. You know who else just signed you know somewhere? Just signed somewhere? This, this person signed this with, person uh, signed New, York. with uh, New York. My boy Trevor Lee. My boy Trevor Lee. NXT bound. I NXT bound. So Trevor Lee's NXT bound. Kushida's probably going to be NXT bound. Yeah. Kushida's going to be Kushida your token guy. Kushida versus Trevor Lee. Sign me up right the fuck now. Take my damn money. Take my damn money. So, Carl. Yeah. When yeah. you when you see Kushida, I, don't, I know you've seen a match of his because I've shown you some New Japan yeah. stuff. Yeah. But when you see a match of Kushida's, you'll love it. Uh, Kushida is everything that they advertise today ought to be, but with a smile on his face. Ooh, another Finn Balor? You gonna smile at Finn Balor for me? But he's got a fun Marty McFly jacket. He's got a fun Marty McFly jacket. What? Oh, okay, I didn't get that. Okay, I didn't get that. Hold on. The 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 irony is, was it Kushida and Finn Apollo 55? I think so because Kushida was time splitters with Alex Shelley, and that's why he wears the Marty McFly gear. And also why his finishers are the Hoverlock and Back to the Future. Back to the Future, yes. But before that, 55. God, I can I can hear Josh in my ears saying, "Ranch, you should know this." Apollo 55 was no Taguchi. Okay. But I was gonna say it would be hilarious that you said just like Finn Balor, and of course his tag team partner used to be Balor. <laughs> that would be funny. But no, that's not the case. Well, I look forward to anything that they're, well, to anything anybody they're bringing in just to check it out. So that's not. You'll out. like Trevor can, can Lee. We talk about like his Trevor Lee just for his caveman look. Like yes. he wears plain and black trunks, but he's got like trunks, got long, like ass, long ass, ass, lives in the forest hair. The forest and well, I'm familiar hair. with Trevor Lee, though. Familiar with I'm familiar with him a little bit. Trevor Lee, Trevor Lee's dad was the guy who created Omega with the Hardys. Yes. So he's essentially like a baby Hardy. Yes, but like. But like, He's, he put it together so much together faster so much in terms faster, of like, terms of he, can like ring, he can go in the ring, he's but he's got Matt's understanding of how character work works. Yes, he's not a talker yet, but he gets all the other stuff. And if if Lee signed, where's is Andrew ever coming to? Yeah, no, I think Andrew yeah, Edwards no, still with Ring of Honor. Oh, did he sign? I didn't know. He yeah, signed I think he's with the Ring of Honor. Yeah, he was at least he was in there like Future of Honor tournament. I'm pretty sure. Well, that that's another great sign. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure yeah. Everett's with so ROH. I'm pretty sure Everett's with ROH. Can we take a moment just to acknowledge how great NXT has been, not just in ring, but in terms of everything they're doing? Yeah. We Wait. have our first performance center outside of the United States. That is huge. That's that. I'm forgive me for being. Hyperbolic. Maybe I'm drinking Hyperbolic. the Kool Aid. Maybe I'm being happy. Yeah, sure. Maybe I'm drinking the Kool Aid heavy. But that's bigger than the announcement of AEW. Me. I mean, it'll have more. That's long-term. the true globalization. It'll have more long-term have ramifications more that are more evident. That are more evident. Um, AEW um, could AEW turn could out to be a bigger deal years down the road if it's successful. But performance center in another country is going to have tangible effects. Effects. Pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. And then Walter debuting. Carl, I don't, I don't think you've ever seen yes, Walter I have. wrestle. Yes, I, have. I know about Walter. My I know about Walter. Boy, let me tell you. And then the beautiful, the beautiful, the beautiful music he comes out to. It, oh, dog. Like, I'm already I'm on board so with that. You ain't even got to sell me on him. I already know about him. My man. Walter and Pete Dunn is going to be the most ridiculous match that WWE might have ever seen. The brutality of... If, if you watched Blackpool and you saw how brutal the Joe Coffee. P. Dunn match was like times two times two that has gonna be done in Walter. So it's been a it's been a hell of a week in wrestling, man. It's aren't they always though? Aren't they always aren't though? They? Well, not always, but, but but because can you can you when y'all say Road to WrestleMania in Vince's voice? 
Now I'm going to give that one to Brother Carl. He does, Brother a, way Carl. He does a way better Vince than me. <laughs> Am I doing like the goddamn pal? Like that? Is that the road? Yeah. Yeah. That's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. Exactly. <laughs> We're on that. So, yes, every business is picking up. I have tickets to Elimination Chamber. We didn't even talk about this to women's tag titles. Yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna yeah, get some heat for not uh, talking yeah, about that probably. We better touch on design them. Well, the, I mean, decent design for the belts. Um, there's something uh, different. They don't look identical to every other fucking belt they have. Predictions for the for the six teams. <laughs> well, probably Bailey and Sasha. Uh, Bailey and Sasha. Yeah. Um, the iconic. Yeah. Um, Mandy and Sonya. Uh, Sonya. Sonya. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Somebody from the Riot Squad. Somebody from the Riot uh, Tamina, 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 yeah, and yeah. Uh, and then and, Naomi uh, and Carmella bet you. Uh, that could be. That could be. Who did you say? They Who could. They could. Swerve you with somebody swerve different. With somebody I don't know. Different. I don't know. But it, but they said she said three Raw, three SmackDown. Carmella and our truth. Carmella and our truth. Oh well, <laughs> he, he'll he'll definitely do it. Um. I'll be there live for that, and if Carl can make it down here, he'll be with me. Um, I'm hyped for that. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm hyped that we got Carl back for a show. I mean, I, I'm hyped. I mean, I, I'm hyped. That, that's great. Yeah, that's I'm hyped great. for myself. I'm hyped for myself. I'll put myself over. Pat I'm yourself over. on the back. Um, Barry Horwitz. <laughs> All right, guys, you want to give him anything else, or you want to get on out of here? Um... um... No, I have nothing else no, for them. No, I have them. nothing else for them. The floor is your, yours. Say anything else you want to before we get out of here. Anything else? Mm, I love you all so much. I'm sorry I'm not here all the time. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna I'm say gonna, I'm not even gonna that. Say, oh man, I can't wait man, to come oh, back. Man, God knows. Back, God but knows. you have my but word that I will try to be back. Try to be back soon. more often than not. More often than not. We'll get them back eventually. We'll get them back Things eventually. are. Things you know, are. I got my, my school's back in my, session, my school's back in but session. if things work yeah, out with my class, job yeah, situation, I'm going to have a week day off, so I might be able to actually so show up instead of working like how it's been, so that might actually make it easier. So Wednesday is was supposed Wednesday to be the day if I, if I take this new job, so we'll just have to see, and then that would leave me a lot, that would definitely keep me open for Wednesday Night Podcast. Just saying, it's when we guys usually record, Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, it'll be Wednesdays because oh, I have classes Wednesday, on Thursday night. There you go. I got class on Wednesday night, Kyle. I got class on Wednesday night, Kyle. So here I am. So here I am. Yeah, but like, yeah, but like, I'm lazier than you. I'm lazier so than you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh no, yeah, you have two oh, small yeah, children. Two small uh, the children. thought of that uh, is enough to make me want to climb up to the roof of my house and jump off my house. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I wish I could show you guys about the last two days with these two small children. I'll save that for another day. It's been a well, in the meantime, well, here's the meantime, what I'll leave our guests I'll with. Our guests follow with. Carl follow on Twitter. Carl don't on follow Twitter. us don't on Twitter because we don't tweet Twitter, too much. But you can find too Carl. Too Fuck that. Follow me. Where is that again, Carl? Where is that again, Carl? At Outsider Curvin. K E R V I N. And the theme for my Twitter this year. At least for the next few months. The hashtag shitposting2019. And I mean it. I'm coming after it. everybody. Coming if you after don't, everybody. Don't, don't, don't give me hot takes. Don't, don't, give, me hot don't give me hot takes right now, guys. I'm telling you right now. I'm coming after you. Carl's feeding the trolls, y'all. Carl's feeding the trolls. trolls. Yeah. If you got something to say, let's go. Bring it. I'll fight back. I'm ready. I'm not going to feed the trolls, though. You can find me at Dr. Dr. S'mores. And you can find your boy at It's Ray Cash, R-E-Y as in Mysterio, C-A-S-H as in Dollars. Um, you can find the show at Outsiders Edge SS. Um, don't forget that we're a part of the Social Suplex, Social Suplex Podcast Network. We have a new ProWrestlingTees.com store. Check that That's out. Really That's really why I came back. I was able to funnel some money, funnel some money into my pockets. Yeah, I'll be sure to send you your opinion. Thank you. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Yeah, but you're going to have to pay me back the other 45 cent for the forever stamp. Son of a bitch. Um, Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, and we're also sponsored by Powerslam.tv. Go check that out. Over a thousand hours of indie wrestling content. We are also a member of the Social Suplex Podcast Network. The Chair where Shot. We, uh, the Chair Shot. The Chair Shot. I'm telling you, man. Medicine is a bitch. Where yes, the Chair Shot Radio Network, where you do what now? You always use your head, always use which your clearly head. you're That's not doing right now, but it's okay because right you don't feel it's good. It's okay because you don't feel good. 
hey, I, the fact that I got through this hour and a half, two hours, and talked as much as I did. Yeah, see, I'm I'm playing her for y'all. You know what, though? Um, but you know, you know what, what, though, Brother Rance? You know what, though, Brother Rance? Yes, sir. Even if you had Even fucked up this whole show, up this it's all right. Show. Because right. at, at the end of the day, we're just a few young we're men few out young here men doing out the best here, that we can in the world, in trying, the world to trying to make this place a little bit better. And every now and then, and we might fuck then, up. We might and we might up. say some things that get you all salty or sad or somehow make you feel some kind of way. And that's all right. And that's all right. Because even if we did that, even y'all, if we did that, y'all, we're just out here chasing our dreams. Here chasing our dreams. Well, you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that. But if you don't, but if you don't, we just don't we just give don't a fuck. Fuck them. Thanks for listening. Thanks we'll catch listening. y'all next time. Y'all See you next week. I'll be here. See you next week. I'll be here. Cut that out of the <laughs>